Hi guys, it's Mango Time and I'm on Kids Top Press. We're going to do something lovely with chocolate and mangoes. We're going to call it something beautiful. Please say it. Chocolate mille fui with mangoes, whipped cream and all the good stuff. So, mille like thousand leaves, fui, all the thousand leaves are going to be made of chocolate. Today we have a secret ingredient. I can't wait to share it with you because it's going to enhance the flavor of chocolate and mangoes, make you feel young because it has anti-aging properties and enhance your mood so you are going to enjoy summer. Let's get started. Here is just a simple parchment paper. In three piping bags, I have white chocolate, dark and milk. Let's start with the white. We need to tap it so it kind of settles down and let's put it in the fridge. Another cute trick of the trade is when you just want to do something which is light and dark, all you got to do is cover it with a piece of paper, okay? So let's dust this side of the plate. I particularly love 100% dark cocoa powder because it has no milk, no sugar and there's already a touch of sugar in your sweet dessert, in the mangoes we are going to use. So let's see how it goes. Okay. So here is the chocolate that we made. So we did two lines of white chocolate in the tracing. We did two lines of milk in the tracing and two of the dark. I took a nice dark disc. I'm gonna put lots of my coated almonds. Yep, I like that. Let's use a white disc on top. So the, you have a dark, you've got the nuts and you've got white. So that's really, really pretty. What we can use in the middle, some caramel sauce. So the reason I did that is actually I'm going to flip it so it holds the almonds together. Then we're going to brush some more on top. Let's move that away. How about some cranberries? Cranberries are excellent for your health, so is dark chocolate. And everything that we've used today is actually pure chocolate. So pure chocolate is a chocolate without vegetable fat. Everything is cacao butter. That's lovely. Nice. Let's top it off with another layer of milk. I think what I'm going to do is brush the milk chocolate with milk chocolate. And then I'm going to flip it. 
so it holds the cranberry it holds its shape and doesn't slip off a fresh cream rosette perhaps So it's more like a fresh cream tower, which is pretty. Let us add lots and lots of mango on the side in a little cone. So I had fresh mangoes and I've just cut it into little cubes. So it looks very pretty. And of course it's very yummy. Nice. Some fresh mint leaves. It's summer, it's refreshing. So we just garnish it with mint leaves. Lovely. And of course, it's summer. So you have sweat, and you have you, and you have holiday time, and you need every single iota of health that you can get. So if you can lay your hands on marigold, or rose or lavender now why do i mention flowers in this beautiful chocolate recipe because actually marigold is one of the most anti-inflammatory properties that a flower could have you have lavender which is so soothing and you have rose which is uh, it's a mood enhancer so if you're really feeling fatigued and kind of low you can use dried rose petals so we have orange we have green and we have every shade of chocolate. What I'm going to use is rose. I think it's just so pretty to use a little bit of dried rose petals there and just a little bit on the side. How do you dry your rose petals? So actually you can buy them ready-made or you can make it yourself. When you get beautiful rose, uh, like a bouquet, or you just want to go down and buy and get some home, you need to pluck the petals very carefully and you can dry it in the oven for maybe 15 minutes, cool it 15 minutes, and you do this repetitively about four times. And that's when you'll find the petals drying up a little bit and then they get to look like this. You can crush it or you can use them whole. I like to crush it. This is my thousand leaves which is going to make you walk a thousand miles so mille fui a la ziba <laughs>